Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for episode 67. Yes, 67. Um, apologies for yesterday's video, I just got the episode number wrong. Yeah. Of Glory Glory FC United here with FC United of Manchester. Coming up in today's video, we've got the second leg against AS Monaco in the last 16 of the Champions League. And we've got an away game against West Ham in the Premier League, which I think... If we win that game, we're confirmed as champions because we are six points clip. We are... 18 points cl oh no I keep thinking I keep thinking it's 36 games it's 38 my bad but I guess we could maybe still win it I'm not sure uh, but we'll have to see but of course we've got to get past Monaco first since you were last with me uh, we've only played two games we played uh, Derby and Bournemouth at home please to say we won them both we had a bit of a scare against Derby because Derby scored a goal just before half time to take the lead. Went into the half time break and I thought you know what what can I do to uh, motivate him so I thrashed my arms a bit Thrashed my arms about a little bit. Just said I'm far from pleased. They come came out and scored uh, five goals in the second half. And then a really nice performance against uh, Bournemouth where we won 4-0. Castillo, Zora, Amiva and Zlatan Dedic. We have another injury blow though. And that is to a player on the left-hand side. Fabrizio Juarez is going to be out for a couple of weeks. So he's going to miss uh, today's games of course. Uh, Ziggler up, out to up for a week as well. And yeah, not good. Not good. Uh, but as you can see, I have made a couple of changes for this game. Now, it's not heavily rotated like it was in the uh, in the last uh, episode, I remember. That is probably going to be a game which does haunt me for a while now, I think. Yeah, needless to say, I'm still a little bit disappointed with the performance there. But you know what? When you make 11 changes, you kind of expect to not flow like you normally would so let's get into today's game we're going to start with your Hito and goal back four of Milango, Zoro, Gehome and Amane Johanathan, Amiva and Aurelio in midfield with Dedic and Alhassan supporting Ramon up front decided to give him a start in the Champions League thinking why the hell not we go for yeah I actually right attack right I want or do I want him there I'm really not sure Because I want Ram on there because he's really tall. We'll we'll see. We'll um we'll go f we'll we'll see. Let's submit the team. Ram on. I mean we've got a human Castillo on the bench, so you know we're already two 0 up from the first leg. We're at home. I think we're going to have a good performance here. It's a couple of changes. Uh, nothing too drastic, but I don't see us going out and losing this game by any means. But um. Right, I'm going to just put the pressure on saying uh, we should win this match. Let's do it. And uh, let's very much do that. Let's do it. Be nice to see Ramon get a goal or two in this game. Especially if it's from a set piece as well, from a corner. It uh, just proves that Parker's a tactical genius. Maybe not. <laughs> but opening 20 minutes, we've not really seen a highlight. Well, we've not seen a highlight yet. Uh, just a one shot. This brings back vibes to the last episode. Oh, no, here we go. Aurelio with the corner. Ramon with the header. And look at that. He scores. <laughs> Park on those tactics, baby. Come on. And uh, there you go. Job done. Ramon has got his goal. Aurelio with a really nice corner. Six foot five striker in Ramon. He gets his first goal for the club. What a legend. Welcome to FC United of Manchester. Ramon. Awesome stuff. Very happy with that. That's pretty much what. I, that's pretty much the change that I made, and I'm uh, very happy with that. So it looks like we're going into halftime one 0 up. I mean, it's absolutely ex an acceptable result. Second half, I may. Um, I think we'll just go with that. We're pleased with how things are going. We are one 0 up. We'll probably move him out to the uh, right inside of midfield and bring Castillo on potentially a little bit later. I mean, if you have a look, I mean, the stats have been absolutely shocking so far. Right, Aurelio. With a terrible free kick. It's with, is that Billy Gilmore, I wonder? Probably. Now, Monaco are coming forward at South Cedo. Gilmore finds this guy on the left. Spider for her. Oh my, what is he doing? Who is that? What was Gehermé doing? He could have got that ball easily. That was such a shocking goal to concede. 
I am very disappointed with Gohame there. What the hell was he doing? Let's bring Goksu on for Mane. And uh, I think Ramon can come off now, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I think we'll move him out to the right-hand side, because Al Hassan is a little bit aggressive. I think we'll I think we'll just bring Hume on. I mean, Castilla on. That's fine. And for my next trick change, we'll bring Augustin Aguirre on for Johanathan. Let's do it. Hopefully we can go out and grab a winner. I mean... It's not been a great performance at all. I mean, I don't think any either team deserves to win this game. But, you know, from Monaco's performance, I don't think we deserve to lose either. But, uh, you know, 1-1 one, one is fine because it still gets us through. And uh, that's exactly how it's finished. That was, you know, not the best games. But, you know, I mean... Uh, yeah, it would be a bit of a dick to them. Few are demotivated from that, but... You know, it was a bit of a laugh because Monaco could have really turned up and put the pressure on us. But, you know what? Job done. We're through to the next round. <laughs> and apparently, Dedic had a bad performance. In all fairness, I've not really got anyone else to bring in for him at the minute. As you all know, Gahome and Juarez are both injured. So, uh, yeah. But there we go. So, we're through to the next round of the Champions League. No idea when the draw is going to come. Uh, will it tell me... Oh, there it is. There. A, a semi-final draw. So, we'll, of course, we'll get uh, the uh, quarter-final draw before, uh, just before that. So, there we go. So, let's uh, go to that. And then the game against West Ham. Okay, here we go. Champions League quarter-final and semi-final draw. Let's have a look because I'm not 100% sure who's still in it. Okay. Hmm, Interesting. So, Hertha Berlin, who we beat in the final last year. Man United, who we beat in the competition last year. PSG knocked us out a couple of years ago. Uh, Porto, Leo, Milan and Madrid. There's a couple of teams we've not faced in this one. So, straight off the bat, Leo. I wouldn't mind playing Leo because I saw their result against whoever they played. And there's a player that came up called Pedro Suarez. Now, if you remember at the very start of this series, we tried to sign Pedro Suarez and uh, he declined. Is it going to be us that face him? No, it's Man United. Okay. Okay, so we're at home for the first leg. Okay. Get up on the fence about that. Okay, who could we set up a quarterfinal with? I mean, last season's finalist, Hertha Berlin, will be reunited with Guerrero. See if. Uh, See if he do, does the business. Interesting to see Bayern Munich are not here. Well, we might have to check in on Alton Bass to see how he's been getting on. But let's have a look. Porto. Okay. And the other two, Madrid are against PSG. Big game there. And Milan face Hertha Berlin. Cool. Now, let's have a look now at this one. So, straight off the bat, it's us. Now... Uh, I'd be okay with any one of them as long as Man United don't get through. Oh, oh God! I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to uh, <laughs> recall that now, but uh, there we go. So we're facing Porto in the quarterfinal, and then if we get past Porto, which I think we should, you know, probably one of the weaker teams left in the competition, then we'll face Real Madrid or PSG. Now, if we faced Real Madrid at all. We ever faced them? Is there any way we can check? I have no idea. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cool, so we'll send Ronaldo to that press conference. And yeah, awesome. So, Porto, when is that going to be? That's actually quite soon. Um. Don't know if we'll. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna play West Ham in today's one. Hmm. Or are we? That's what I'm thinking now. Because if I come back, maybe play West Ham and Brighton offline. 
and then maybe do Porto, and then tomorrow's video, you'll have United, where we could maybe win the league, and then Porto. I'm not sure what to do. No, what? Screw it. We'll just um, we'll stick to what we were gonna do for today. We'll play West Ham, and then next video, we'll either do Porto, Man United, and Porto, or just Man United and Porto. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Um, that sounds good to me, actually. Uh, so we'll do West Ham in today's one. We'll do what we said we were gonna do, and then we'll do. I think we'll do United and Porto. There sounds good to me, and uh, we'll be back for that West Ham game in just a sec. Okay, so a few changes made for the West Ham game. You can see Luke Hume comes back into the uh, starting lineup. You can also see Janelle, Janelle, I, I really do not know, um, comes into the midfield as well. Zorro comes in at left back and Hadji at centre back. Uh, we've got a couple of players on yellow cards in a minute. Malanga, of course, being one of them, and uh, Zorro as well. I mean, Zorro can be a bit of a naughty boy sometimes. But um, absolutely fine as long as he stays on his feet. Should be absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, just before we get into this game, uh, one thing I did want to show you is the fact that we're getting another youngster in, uh, Freddy Herrera. Um, pretty good scout report, 84 on that. Uh, left back, um, bravery, 20, pretty good. Pace and stamina, pretty good at 17. And he will be coming in in um, probably next January. So January 2032, I'm guessing. We still have a few youngsters on the way in, of course, so, uh, yeah, that's all good. So, let's get into this game. Janelle um, might not finish the game. That's fine. I've also put Bateo on the bench instead of Ramon. I've taken him off. Um, Bateo, he's got one goal. Ramon's got one goal as well. So, yeah, um, I'm hoping, you know, with uh, next season looming, of course, uh, we will, of course, be doing at least one more season after this. It's dependent on whether we get that new stadium, you know. If it happens over the summer, awesome. We'll continue the save. Probably for the majority of the FM21. If we don't get the stadium this summer, then it has to come next summer. Otherwise, probably not going to continue it. Now, Dedic bringing the ball forward. Puts it into Amiva. Um, sorry. Alhassan Hume with a shot and it's bounced straight off Bazunu. It's back with Dedic. And he's been fouled. Now I'm on a free kick. And it came to nothing, so <laughs> that was fair enough, I guess. Okay, Zorro with a corner. Uh, Dedic picks up the loose ball. Dedic with the shot. Tame effort, really. Bazunu with a standard save. Obviously, Bazunu was our goalkeeper and I think, the championship from memory. And Carles to Carlos Gabriel. Bustillo. Back to Moore. Again now. Bringing the ball forward. Defence. What a... I was going to say, what is the defence doing there? They're just inviting him to come in between them. Right, Amiva with a free kick. Gehome with the header. Hits the crossbar. And it's cleared. And Mane will get to that. And he does. <sighs> right, we're going to demand more because I'm a little bit disappointed with this performance so far. Amiva. Johanathan heads it on and it's a goal. Come on. Johanathan gets his third goal of the season. Amiva credited with the assist for that. Um, set piece. It's all good. Bit of a tame, court, bit of a tame header, but obviously... Bazunu could not get down to it, so uh, I will most certainly take it. And uh, we take lead on the 32nd minute. And uh, I think that's what it's going to be at half time. Awesome stuff. So I'll go to the dressing room. So you've played alright, but still room for improvement. Completely agree. Would not put it any other way. And as it stands, we're going 21 points clear of Manchester United. Manchester United will need to win in order to um, keep up the pace. I mean, you know, they're, they're never going to catch us. They're never going to catch us. We're far too ahead. OK, 
Joaquin Carlos now for West Ham. Carlos Gabriel now bringing the ball forward. Zorro cannot get. It's with Bastillo now for West Ham. West Ham have got a bit of an attack going on. Gonzalez with a half decent effort there. Not troubling the keeper though. So that's the main thing. <laughs> but 1-0 just on the hour mark. Zorro, I think, yeah, we'll bring Malango on. Malango has never really been a bench player before. So that sounds a little bit weird. Like no goal from Hume again today. So far, of course. But I do admit, I am a tad concerned because... The only goals he seemed to have scored recently are either tap-ins or penalties. And that is a tad um, concerning. Now, we're going to bring Aguirre on for Dedic. Now, this is a position where Aguirre can actually play. So, uh, we're going to have to look at him the last 10-12 minutes. Just see how we get on. Um, I know it's a little bit of a risk with uh, 12 minutes left. We're only 1-0 up, of course. But, um, yeah, like literally nothing at all has happened. So, uh, there we go, 1-0, we beat West Ham, I mean, I think we'll be a bit of a dick to him, we'll say, you know, we got away with that a little bit, you know, we had less than, what, I think we had less than 15 shots on goal, we had like 5-6 shots on target, that is not where we want to be, we want to be a little bit better than that, but uh, there we go, initial budgets, well, okay, so we've got initial budgets because we've qualified for the Champions League. Initial wage budget at £6 million and the transfer budget at £677 million. Why on earth has she done that? Why is it that bit? I mean, I, I know I should not be complaining, but at the end of the day, this is why we're in this mess. I mean, it's partly my fault, I'll admit that. But... You know, we've been given all the transfer budget that we've accumulated. I mean, that is okay, but I'll never be able to spend this. Because we spend all that, we're going to be bankrupt in a year. That's the one thing I've really, really not liked about this save, is the fact that I've been given transfer budget, but because of the financial status of the club, I've not really been allowed to spend it in a way. And it's a little bit frustrating in that sense. And I really don't know the reason why. You know, when you reach the Premier League, especially when you become a, an established Premier League team, you should not have to worry about money at all. And it's daunting, to say the least. Right, what wonder kids can we try and sign? I mean, this guy looks alright, doesn't he? Two and a half stars. He's an 18-year-old wonder kid. He's a left winger. Can never have too many, can you? So we're uh, 85 in the scout reports. It's 100% scouted as well. Uh, when did he turn 18? No. So that is after we have the... Um, What's it, isn't it? Well, acknowledge. But that is someone that I'm certainly going to be interested in. This guy as well. I mean, he, I think, literally just went to PSG as well. Let's have a look at his street. 91 million. That seems a little bit low for a player of that calibre. Oh, wow, okay. So this guy as well. World-class midfielder. And also a right winger. Can play central midfield. How much is this guy going to cost? 15 mil. You know, we get rid of Dario Guerrero and uh, maybe um, someone else in midfield. The Ukrainian guy, this guy. Then that is a perfect replacement to come in, I reckon. And uh, another really good acquisition. This guy, Edward Busquets. Cool. Matthew Gordon, we'll keep scouting him. Anyone we can keep scouting, we'll keep scouting, certainly. Not you, though, because you're too old. Same with you. You will keep scouting. You, we won't, because... Yeah. Acknowledge. Uh, keep scouting, I guess. Scout. Ah, oh, Mikel Bello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see ya. Discard. We don't want it. Yeah. Uh, this guy will keep scouting. And... 
There we go. Anyway, it's not the type of things I tend to show you in these regular videos. So uh, what we're gonna, what t we are going to do? I'm gonna play Brighton and Porto off camera, and then we'll come back for United and the second leg of the Porto tie in the Champions League. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Do subscribe as well if you happen to be new. Would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.